In yoga, the symbolism always is about showing the Adiyogi or the Shiva always as half man and half woman. The idea is to remind everyone that this is the nature of your existence. So to bring this balance between masculine and feminine is the true empowerment of humanity. If feminine has to find the right place in the world, we need to create a balanced society where finer aspects of life are as important as survival. If in our education systems, music, art, aesthetics become as important as science, mathematics and technology, only then feminine will find expression in a society. It is time to turn this around. So we've come to a place where technology has created a physical space where men and women can participate in equal measure. In many ways, everywhere in the world, economy is going to be the main factor in people's lives. It's very important that the women of the world participate in this process to create a gentler economy, an economy which is not brutal. It is very important in business leadership, in the boardrooms of this nation and in the world, there should be women who are feminine, not women who are trying to act more masculine than men. Women who genuinely have something feminine alive in them and also men who are not ashamed of being feminine when they need to be. This balance has to be brought forth in a society. It is only in this balance there is empowerment. What you call as a flower is a fragile expression of a sturdier plant. But without the flower, the plant would mean nothing. So what we call as feminine is a more fragile expression of who we are. But without it, we would be nothing.